days, man. Because in these days, we were crying. So in those days, we're going to rejoice. In these days, we are hungry. In those days, we're going we gonna to have plenty, man. Keep reading, huh? Yo, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Keep going. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee. Exactly, that's it. So in those days, these women gonna know who the men of the Lord are. And in those days, seven of them, and a complete number of them, are gonna be looking for your ass, man of the Lord. Cause she gonna want you to take your name. All right? Cause she's gonna need that protection. And they gonna know that the Most High Hand is on us. That His Spirit is on us, man. And it's gonna be clearly known. That's why we're gonna become as fine gold. Lord will, Lord will we be part of that elect. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. They're gonna be all these cracks are gonna fill up with plants, and it, and it, it happens fast, man. If they don't take care of this in a couple months. Plants just start growing up between the cracks. Man. All right, but it's gonna happen like that. It ain't gonna be no man to go out and take care of this and go out and farm. Men, men it's gonna be, it's gonna be farm, um, farm near. Man. Good. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? Right. The grapes shall bud, and who shall drink them? Okay. All places <laughs> shall be desperate men. Right. So that one man shall desire to see another, and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the big hills. Right, it's going to be ten men in the city. Two of the field man, in the country. And they're gonna hide in bushes and groves and shit like that. It's gonna get real out here, man. And you women gonna change that little tune y'all talking about. Y'all gonna change that shit, boy. And you, you know, all these little dudes you like to fuck with these them nothing ass dudes, y'all ain't gonna fuck with them because them niggas gonna be dead. They gonna be dead, they gonna be the first ones to go. What's going to be left is the men of the Lord, and you're going to want them. And we're going to be choosy in that day because we're going to be able to be choosy. So you better try to get you a man of the Lord right now while you got time. Go ahead. But you'll hide themselves in the thick clothes and in the clusters of the And if you got a husband or a boyfriend and he's a man of the Lord or he's trying to be a man of the Lord, you better let that man do what he want to do. If this man want to have other women, you better let him have it. Because you better hold on to that coattail and try to get in the kingdom. That's the best way you can. The only way in that, in that kingdom is through that man. So long as he keeping the laws, that's your way into the kingdom. Don't stretch the man out. Go ahead. As in the orchard of olives, upon every tree, there are left three or four olives. But when it's a vineyard is gathered, there are less yeah. clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyards. Right. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. Right. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns. Right. Because no man shall tra travail their grief. Right. The virgins right. shall mourn. Read that again. Yeah. Because the virgins shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The woman shall mourn, having no husband. See that? The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn, having no husband. There's going to be a lack of men out here, man. These women going to be crying in. There ain't going to be no, I don't need no husband. It's going to be like, damn, I need one now. Where they at? I'm crying. They going to be crying, man. They gonna wish they had men, and like like it says, these men gonna they gonna be gone. They gonna be out of there. They gonna be in the dirt, laying around somewhere, bloated up.
that's going to be left is the men of the Lord. And all you women can't get men of the Lord. All a certain amount of you can. And if you damn totally wicked, your ass ain't getting nothing but fucking death. So your best bet is to try to get them now. Go ahead. But that, my point was, is that these women right now, they rejoicing. They go out here twisting with the fucking heels on and the hats and the makeup and all the shit on. Are you, you you feeling good about yourself? You got this high self-esteem to turn every nigga down that talked to me downtown because I just want to feel good about myself. But guess what? Your ass going to be crying about them same niggas that you've been turning down. Wishing that they was there to take care of your black ass, man. They ain't going to be there. They're going to be dead. You're going to be looking for us. And we might not even take it. If we don't want to. It's going to get real out here, man. Right. The daughters you're born have you no helpers. You ain't gonna have no helpers. You don't wanna wash dishes up. You don't wanna do shit. You wanna have men do that shit for you. Guess what? You ain't have nobody do that in that day, man. If man, don't wanna accept you. You have to try to find food on your own. Let me let me see a fucking woman go out there trying to hunt. They be the first ones to say, oh, men and women are equal. And tell her tell her to go out there and go catch some food or something. Tell her go change that fucking tire. Oh, you a band, you supposed to do a fuck. So I ain't, I wanna see a woman come out and do some hard work in that day. You have to go out there and go catch your food or grow that shit from the ground. Go ahead. The divorce shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Say that again. The divorce shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. The race wars, when they, when they send these, uh, Government sent out these groups to go kill these people. Female troops, yeah. That's when the men gonna be dying. That's when they gonna lose all the bridegrooms. Go ahead. The divorce shall the bridegrooms be destroyed. Right. And their husbands. Oh, not to mention World War Three. No, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Amen. Say it again. Amen. And their husbands. Of and their husband gonna perish in famine. Men, they're gonna be dying from not eating. Go ahead. Hear now these things and understand them, these servants of the Lord. Right? Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord is faith. Right? Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So this day, if you hear these words, you better receive them. <laughs> Don't believe these things, these other gods. Paul says, guys, like this one is telling you, you don't need a husband, you just need him. Don't believe that shit. The most high sin is families and destruction. As when a woman would child. Yes. Yeah, this is funny. But it's funny because the ones that told you that shit, the so called white women, you had the women's liberation movement. The white women was trying to break off from their husbands, so, so called. They swept you black women in there. I'm saying white women, they're not doing that shit. They're at home taking care of their husband and their kids. They're being obedient to their husband. How these white men got three or four women? These white women know that shit. They're not stressing them out about the shit because the man is doing his job and taking care of her. But you women, you're stressing your man out. Even though he's taking care of you. It's in a man's nature to deal with multiple women. That's just his nature, it's in his DNA. Go ahead. Lord of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw not and are not slept. As when a woman with child in the night's month bring forth her for son within two or three hours of her birth. Plagues draw nigh, and they they not slight, they not slowing down, man. They coming. That's why we out here. We know that they coming. Okay, that's it. Need uh, that a little bit. We're wrapping up. Great pains can pass her along. Yeah, which, which pains when the child coming forth, they slight that a moment. Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn 
and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Isaiah 33, verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. So the stability. I will matter of fact, I want one more scripture. Give me some second answer to that. Things that's going to keep you stable in those days is understanding these scriptures. It's knowing the prophecies of what's going to happen. That's what's going to keep you stable. All right? If you don't have that, you're going to be out here lost as fuck. Like, you, you ain't going to make it. You're going to bug out. Go ahead. Second address. 16. Verse 70, Second Nature, chapter 16, verse 70. But there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right, go ahead. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, right. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right, you start with Israel, man. Go ahead. But they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. That's right. In those days, those days of destruction, famine, sword, martial law, martial law troops. That's when that's when the most high chosen is gonna be known. In those days, go ahead. That's you have to put you have to put some respect. You gotta put some respect on the most high thing there. <laughs> Put some respect on it. Yeah, put some respect on our name too then. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. yeah I'll bless you, man. I was shouting. You got to put some respect on Yash That's right. chosen the Yasharala then. That's right. Go ahead. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Here, oh ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Right. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Right. But I will deliver you from the same. Right. Be ye not afraid. Neither doubt. For the most high is your God. Now for you brothers out there, when you go through these times, it's gonna be a time where you're gonna it's gonna be a time where you're gonna be tried, man. And you're not you, just, you, you gotta stay faithful to the, the, the faith and the truth. You can't be being doubtful, man. Put it like this, man, you gotta be willing to die, man, for this shit. Just like you niggas out here willing to die for these gangs and shit y'all in and die for the women. Die for this the street name or street number or some shit. You gotta be willing to die for the truth, man. And guess what? These street gangs just gonna put you to death here on earth, man. Okay? But the truth is supposed it's, it's gonna give you everlasting life, man. So I'd I rather I'd rather die for the truth than a motherfucking gang or a street. You gotta have faith, man. You can't doubt. You can't exactly. think, boy, the most high not gonna save me. Man, I don't know, man. The brothers ain't out there teaching no more. I don't know. <laughs> hey, man, this might not be the truth, man. You know, hey, man. You gotta have faith. You gotta, you gotta believe. Man. You, gotta the too, you gotta trust the knowledge, man. This is gonna be the stability of your time. Go ahead, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Right. Saith the Lord, power. Wait to read that again. The God of who? And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Exactly. The ones that keep the laws and the precepts of the Most High. That's who God is. He ain't even on the Israel God. Go ahead. Saith the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down. Right. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins. Right. And covered with their iniquities. Right. Like as a field is covered over the bushes. Right. And the path thereof covered with thorns. Right. That no man may travel through. Right. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. That's it. Yep. So that's it, man. Right, in those days, the most I chose me is going to be known. So 
So these women gonna follow along with suit. And if you're not going to court to what the scriptures say, whether you're a man or a woman, you're gonna be put to death, man. In this kingdom, man. You don't gotta be scared that we gonna do it. The most I gonna use these spirits and um, vengeance to do it, man. Whether it be famine, martial law troops, whatever, man. For a woman, you're supposed to be under obedience to your husband, man. All right, so. There, all praise to y'all, bless you, y'all, shout. All praise to y'all, bless you, y'all, shout. Y'all, our elders, our elders are great millstone. Peace and blessings go out to the brothers out there. They're teaching truth and sincerity. With them, we say, y'all, bless you, y'all, shout, Barack and Thumb. Y'all, bless you, y'all, shout. Yeah, Pan-American, Panorama.